morning everybody welcome back we are on day 11 of the 100 day project I hope everybody is having a good start to the morning I'm still on my coffee <laughs> I wanted to get straight to this um, I had this idea yesterday because you know often I, I like to play with the um, tea bags and I probably at some point will do the tea the tea bag um, pockets um, during this because I think finding projects for 100 days is going to be a challenge but um, this I'm calling it the faux tea bag tag um, yeah, I don't know no, faux tea bag tag yes bag tag yeah yep sorry I had to think about that <laughs> um, so here's one that's completed and this I thought I'd just start showing because if you're not interested just you know move on <laughs> um, and that way you can see what the end result's going to be because yesterday I do apologize for yesterday the camera I, th I wanted to zoom in so you could see a bit better but I can see that that's just not going to work so I do apologize the, the I didn't realize I should have checked it before I edited it but I just is you know I get in such a rush sometimes and I edited it and you know I didn't realize until it was up live that oh my gosh half the stuff you couldn't see although you didn't miss anything I was just battling with glue glue um, containers <laughs> So I'll just start out by saying the tags and the butterfly images are from, well I had it up here, sorry guys, I've lost my page here, um, two ticks, let me just make sure, it is Antique Papery on um, Etsy. And this is the Shabby Dictionary Kit, journal kit, the tags that come from it. And then these are um, a separate purchase. I won't be putting the links to these. You know, I will name the shop because, I mean, this isn't a design team project for me. I purchased these, so I'm, you know, I'll tell you guys where to find them. But uh, we've all got to um, to look through things and, and find them. I just don't have time to search through for the specific link. So I hope you guys understand that. Um, so what I've done is I cut out the, um, the little tags that come in the kit. And then I cut out these images, uh, the little butterflies. I just, they match so nicely. And then in a separate, I just found some paper that coordinated, but you could take some of the um, paper from the kit and we're just run it through like you know the the journal sheets run that through on cardstock and then you can just go back and cut out if you've got a little postcards punch fantastic I don't own one so I have to use my um, framelits and let me just show because some of you may be new and maybe these terms you don't really know what we're talking about so I'll just very quickly this this wasn't meant to be a tutorial but sometimes these things just end up so this is what I'm talking about when I say you know a little framelit so I've just taken the smallest one and punched those out and it comes out looking like a little postcard it's not as nice <coughs> as a postcard um, I've been wanting to get some of the postcard framelits but I'd much rather have the punch but I don't know where to get it so because um, I'm getting fed up with those framelits they're um they're nice in the fact they don't take up the space like a punch does but um uh, to drag out <laughs> I'm such a lazy crafter aren't I I'm always uh, but I like to try to you know get it done with as much as I can and I I just find Punches are quicker. That's just the truth. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm sounding really whingy all the time. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> the whingy crafter. That's what I should be called, really. <laughs> so I'm just gonna distress around just slightly. And what I thought I found is if if you just snip the corner, I'll 
I'll try to get that closer. Then it makes it look like a little, you know, the little tea bag thing. And then we'll just distress it a little bit there. And then, of course, and I know I'm going to have a thousand questions on this again, Paper Tray Ink. It's a U.S. company. I don't remember what this is called, but if you look through, it's... I know, there's no name, you see. Um, but if you searched, I'm sure they've got a search thing where you can put tiny dies. And it should come up, but I don't know. I've had this years and years, so maybe they've discontinued it, guys. And um, But it is, if they've still got it, I, I highly recommend... Um, purchasing this. I've used this so many times because those are just the perfect size, those little tags. So I'm just going to stamp the, the wish. And there's quite a few on here that I like the Adore. I use that one a lot. And there's another one that's just, just a note. I use those the most. There's like Mom, Dad, I don't tend to use those because I don't really make cards anymore. Okay, so now I think I'm just going to... What I did with this one is I stitched around that with some black thread. And I don't have the black thread in the machine right now. So I think I'm just going to... Um, run it through the machine. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll get everything ready. That way I can stop and um, do the stitching all in one go so it'll, it'll go a little bit quicker. So yeah, they're all going to be the same, but I just think these are, I just think it's really pretty on these tags um, because they almost, they can serve as for a nature journal or kind of shabby chic, um, which is a you know, great because I I'm tr I don't want to be too um, restricted on. Sorry, let me make sure I'm in frame. You know, doing these embellishments ahead of time. I, it's occurred to me that yeah, you're going to have to be. I don't want them to be too um, specific to one um, theme because I want it. I'm trying. <laughs> trying to get to where I, I've got things made in advance. I don't know. I'm really pleased with the projects I've made so far because I can see those working with anything which is always nice. That's, that's I think, what you've got to you got to master that. And for me, this is all you know, we're learning how to do this together because um, it's really slowing me down to have to do as you can imagine, when you're making your journal, having to stop and do each one individually, uh, it, it's very time consuming and, you know, people don't see that until they start having, you know, working on them themselves and then they realize, gosh, yeah, this needs to be done in bulk, if, if at all possible, but, but we'll see. We'll see how it's going to go. I'm just um, inking up those edges so you don't see the white. <coughs> okay, I want to stamp those. Let me get a different little one. I know I need a different color ink. That's why that's not standing out. That needed to be done in the espresso. I really do love the colors in this. It's kind of like a peach. Peach with um, some brown, really, you know, espresso or black even. It could be black. Um, but those are a nice color scheme there. Um, so I, that's why I went ahead and bought this, um, this kit, is I could see getting a lot of use out of it. I'm not trying to sell the kit, guys, at all. Uh, that's <laughs> but I know I'm going to have questions about it, and it's understandable, because, um, gosh, there's thousands of people on, uh, 
online selling now, it's, it's very difficult to track track down. So I understand everybody wants to know. Okay, this is where I'm going to need to stop, and I'll run over and do some stitching. Like I said, I, I don't have it set up for the darks. I think I'll have to change it. So yeah, I don't want to make you guys sit here. So I will be back. I'm going to just, all I'm doing now is um, I'm just going to run a stitch around this, and then we'll come back, add some lace, some linen thread, and then that's it, guys. That's all there is to this project. So it's a really simple one. And, you know, don't feel like you've got to go and buy this kit because you don't. This could be done with any of your um, tags that you've got that um, are embellished. So, you know, just look through your stuff. I'm sure if you've been doing this for a while, you've got some digital images. And if the tag is long, just snip it off. Um, this is about... From the top to the bottom, you know, about three and three eighths. So just do that. Just cut it off, and there you go. You, it, it, I think it looks like a tea bag myself. I think it's, you know. Uh, I, so, anyways, let me go. Let me set sto show. <laughs> I need another cup of coffee. Sew these, and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> went to the machine, did some zigzag on this one. I really like how that's come out. I think it makes it stand out just a little bit more. And then I've got four more. Now these, I, I just kept the images from the tag because I really couldn't think of any way to add any dimension, and they were nice images, so I'm actually fine with, with just doing that. So there's, you know, this is another thing. <clears throat> if you've got a really nice design in the tag, you know, you don't have to bother with layering that, because sometimes it's, we do end up with, with a lot of bulk in, um, in our journals, so that will keep it down to a minimal as well. So let me just get these punched out, and I'll just go ahead and get all of these done. I was thinking, at the end of this, if I were to not use any of these embellishments in journals, at the rate I'm going, because I'm making at least five things. I'd have 500 embellishments. And you know some of the stuff, like yesterday, I ended up with, I think, 16. Um, so that would be awesome, but <coughs> I can't see that happening because I'm probably going to need to use them in various projects i got coming up. But how cool would it be to have that many embellishments set to the side to use in future and this this is what it looks like with the little the adore and then that's the just a note I think that little just a note is adorable but yeah I, I have a feeling I'll need to use these in in some journals I've got coming up but We'll see. It'll be interesting to see. I think what I'll try to do is designate a box for just the projects that I've done within this and whatever's left over. Maybe at the end I'll come back and and do like a recap and uh, show you what, I've, what I have left. I don't know how much it'll be, but okay, so I think I've cut that too short. So this is just some Irish linen thread. I love this stuff. As you guys know, I use a lot of this. So I'm just going to put it through. And then this one I just ended up tying it just 
just a little knot and then um, I just snip off the excess. But we need a bit of lace added to it as well, don't we? So So there, we've got that much done with it. And I think this one, because I want to keep that, I don't want to cover it up with the lace, so I think I'm just going to put it here, because that's kind of a, a little blank space there. So let me, <laughs> eeny, meeny, miny, mo. let me see which one of the, uh, glues is going to get the privilege of being used this morning. Uh, it's working, and I didn't even do anything to that. <laughs> Yesterday I thought, oh, I must check my glue before I do another um, craft with me, but I totally forgot it. But luckily, that's the one I just opened yesterday, so it's behaving. Um, Alright, so there you can see. I'm trying to be a little bit slower because I know I've I've looked, watched back some of my videos, and I know I'm just moving too quickly for you guys to see anything, so I apologize. I'm working on it. Okay, so that we've got those two done. I'm just going to carry on. I mean, you got the concept. You guys know how to hit the stop button if you're bored, and um, <clears throat> you can see how they're done. But if you just want to hang out and uh, listen to me ramble, well, gosh, it'd be nice to have you here. Yeah, I've been trying in the evening to, um, you know, when I can clear my mind, to just just start jotting down some ideas on what I can do because, as I said to you, I think it was yesterday, I, I'm a little bit concerned about how I can fill a hundred days. But I, the the thing is, I guess I keep in my mind thinking it's a tutorial, and it's not. This is just a craft with me session, and it generally works out to be a tutorial, but you know what I mean. Um, it's really just you seeing what I'm up to, and I, I think that if I can keep that mindset, it'll be a little bit less pressure on me. Um, and hopefully, you know, there will be something that you guys can pick up here and there. And use because um, gosh there I'm I'm sure everybody's the same I struggle to find the time to catch up on everybody's that I follow so many people uh, on on YouTube and I'm so behind on my video watching I love this lace. This is really, really delicate. It's, it's another one of my little prized pieces that I don't like to really... <laughs> I don't know. How crazy is that? I bought it for, for this use, but, you know, there's just some pieces in your stash that you think, oh, no, I don't want to put that on there. <laughs> and I don't know what we're saving it for. You know, but I did want to do... Doggone, I must write this down. Somebody... Oh, I wish I could remember who somebody had taken like a um, a little um, one of these ball pins or like a safety pin and they had done a little swatch of various, you know, laces and I thought, well, how clever is that? Because that way I'll always have a little piece of what I had had and I must get started doing that. <clears throat> so I've got to write that down. Let me just jot it on here guys. Sorry. Uh, lace sampler I'll call it. I, I must remember that. But that was a brilliant idea and if I do that, if I get started I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. You've probably seen it but I hadn't, and um, I thought, oh yeah, that would be so nice in my um, my kind of like everything junk journal related journal. And I do hope to try to get started on that this um, 
this weekend would be nice if I could get my the outside of the book created and then maybe next week when I've got a little bit of time I can get the pages. I don't know, that's probably a bit ambitious, but but yeah, I must get started on that. Yeah, I'm liking how those are coming out. And it would almost be fun, you know, on some of the nicer material because um, I've got a couple of pieces of the Tim Holtz that I really, really love. And I know when it's gone, I'm not going to be able to get it. So it'd be kind of cool just to have a little, a little, you know, snippet of, um, of those as I remember. Okay, I need a little bit of something there. <coughs> I'll show you guys what I, I, I love this little, what I, I've got this big, you know the circle um, crocheted tablecloths, this is one of them, and it, um, it had like a hole on it, I think, when I purchased it, it's, gosh, it's been around for ages, but this is what I do, just to get a nice little little pieces. And I got this, you won't believe it, for 25 cents. Uh, it just breaks your heart when you think about somebody sat there for good, probably two weeks making that. And it, you know, <clears throat> but it's going for, you know, you just think, well, um, Somebody's going to enjoy it, so whoever made it, if they're looking down, maybe they'll have a smile knowing that it's been sent across the world and everybody's uh, enjoying their work. So there we go. I just love the way those look. Uh, they, they're real tatty looking, and uh, so that's how I end up getting those. <clears throat> so keep an eye out, you know, if you're out at the the flea market or your thrift store and you see one, even if it's got a tear in it, grab it up. Because you can make use out of them. They What they do here um, is the car boot, which is like a swap meat like thing everybody shows up and they just sell out of the trunk of their car sorry the boot of their car <laughs> I'm still working on the lingo um, they show up and then there's some guys that come out they're house clearance guys and they um, you know either somebody's <laughs> been evicted or um, you know, passed away and the family's got everything out of the house that they want and the rest of it, they, um, I think they pay these guys to, to clearance it, right? So the guys make maybe a hundred, two hundred bucks to clear. Maybe it's more. I don't know. So they go in and clear it so that the house can be ready to be put up on the market. And they show up out of these car boots. Man, can you get some deals there? Because those guys, they've already, you know, <clears throat> they've already got their money from the clearance. And then to their, in their eyes, they're just left with all this junk. <laughs> oh man, one man's junk's another man's treasure. You wouldn't believe the stuff I've got from some of them. I mean, the only thing that little is a little bit, mm, if you're funny about digging through stuff and I'll be honest, it ain't my favorite thing sometimes. In some some of these bags, you're thinking, oh my God, am I going to, you know, stab myself with a needle here? Or Because um, that's how my mind works, you know. It's just like, whoa, this is looking like, yeah, you could, you could come across a few needles in this one. 
So that part of it's a little bit off-putting, but you know, there ain't nothing stops me from looking for a bargain. <laughs> so you just you just say a little prayer and then you dive in there. <laughs> and uh, man, I have come across some deals. And this one guy's kind of gotten used to he he kind of knows me now, you know. We banner, we joke around. He, <clears throat> and um, so he kind of knows what I like, and if it's something he's sure, he'll kind of sit it to the side before I show up there. So that's really cool. But I'm always joking around with them, and I I think that uh, I think they enjoy that because yeah, it's boring sitting out there, man. You talk about earning your money. You do those car boots here in the winter time because we've done it. Paul and I have had to do markets um, <clears throat> when we were selling, you know, doing our lighting business. We tried a um, a market. It's called the I think it's Kempton. I always confuse it with the town nearby that we used to live at, which was Kemerton. But the market is Kempton. It's outside of London, and. Um, couple times we thought, oh, because see, it draws all the big designers from London with the money. So a couple times we've went down there, and do you know, it's about a eh, three-hour drive, right? Well, you're in a van, and those vans have no insulation, right? So you're in a van. <clears throat> you got to be down there, I think, at midnight, or maybe it's 1 a.m. to line up. To, because this market started at 6, I believe. Yeah, it was 6 a.m. But they wanted you there at um, 1 to line up to see if you're even going to get in. Because people come... I mean, there's people that show up there from France with stuff. So, as you can imagine, it's an awesome place to go because I would... Uh, We'd get set up, and then I'd bugger off and start shopping and leave Paul at it, you know. <laughs> That's the way I am. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, usually I'd end up spending more than I, we'd buy, you know, even sell. But <clears throat> my point being, cold? Oh, man, is it cold out there. Because um, you can't sit there and let the van idle for five hours. Um, so we'd, we'd always take our blankets and just bundle up as best we could. But I know one night, I'm not kidding you, I thought, I, this one I didn't really get long enough, let me redo that. One night I thought, this is for the birds, I ain't ever doing this again, because it was so cold. <clears throat> but the next month, we were right back down there doing it. We did it about three times, and to be honest... It wasn't that profitable for us. It just wasn't the thing, the thing to to work there. But um, but boy, did it, you see all kinds of stuff uh, at that market? It's just it's amazing. I don't know how big it is. You got all the buildings with the the real antique stuff, which I'm not interested in. And then outside, you've got all the um, <clears throat> really retro um, furnishings from like the 50s and 60s, which is super cool. I love seeing that stuff. Um, and very reasonable, which was surprising because being outside London, I thought, oh gosh, this is going to, it's just not going to be anything that I could afford. But I think it's because there's so much competition. Um, it actually, yeah, there were some deals to be had there. But I, I used to love, I, I haven't been there in years and years, and I told my husband, I said, oh, we must make it a point. One day, I think the market, I can't remember if it was a Tuesday or a Thursday, but I said, we must try this summer to go down and, um, as, you know, not to sell, just as to, um, to buy. <laughs> Um, because I've never been there when I had the eyes for, uh, well, I've always been on the lookout for nice laces and linens and things. But it'll be interesting to go back now that, um, you know, I'm kind of looking for different stuff 
and see if there's anything around there. I love doing that. I absolutely love going through um, an antique, well, antique shops, flea markets. Antique shops are funny. I like them. Um, some of them are 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 really good, but then you've got the ones that are just really, really overpriced. I don't like those ones. I like the ones where you can dig around and still find a great bargain. And there's quite a few of them here. It's just uh, I haven't had time to go out. But what would you guys think about, what would your thoughts be? Would you be interested in seeing me go out with um, a camera? And check out some of the antique places that are around. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'd be so nervous, I think, about... I'm nervous talking here in the privacy of my own home. I don't know how I would be about out in public. But I am kind of curious. Would you guys be interested in that, in anything like that? Because I... The, my. The thing I don't know is how much of it would be related to, you know, crafting versus, you know, a lot of places have got a lot of dishes and furniture and that's, you know, I think most of the people on my channel probably wouldn't be interested in that, but just let me know if that's something you guys think you'd like to see in the future. Um, I can tell you this, I'm doing a, um, it's an antique flea market in just over another week and I am intending to video that one so maybe that'll give you a little taste and then you you can you know base it on that whether you you'd be interested in that or not Okay, we are nearly there. I can't believe that. That's went really, really smooth. Um, that's a little bit alarming that it's all gone so smoothly today. Huh. Well, I'll just be grateful. Okay, guys. Oh. That's why I haven't done the laces. <coughs> Let me see if I've got something different to put on these. I kind of like that. And then I think this one would really benefit. Let me see what I'm, where's my little stuff here. Dun, 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 dun. I'll show you guys. I just went to the did I I don't think I showed you guys this. I went to the flea market this has been a couple weeks back. I'm pretty sure I haven't showed you guys. And I spotted this old tin and um, picked it up and it was full of buttons. So you know I couldn't resist. But look at this. It's full of marbles as well. Which I don't collect marbles. But look at those. Those have got to be some kind of old. Because I've never seen any that are like that. So... That was a great score because I got that, and look at this, it's even got the ceramic. Those are going to be cool on something, I just don't know yet. So I've got those, these were kind of the ones I separated, and these are, you know, those so funny, the funny backed ones, and I don't quite know what I, they're pretty, there's some pretty ones in there, but I don't, they're not great to try to attach because they got all that bulk. So anyways, I've separated. I got that. I ended up with all the marbles in it. And then I still ended up with loads of these ceramic ones. And there's some good buttons in there. So I gave them all a good wash. And, um, and then there was a couple of these old coins in there. So I think that was a really good score because I think I gave um, two pounds for that. 
and um, I looked up online, and this tin is is on on eBay. There's a similar <coughs> tin to that for like five pounds. So, because I'm not mad on that tin, it's a little bit ratty looking, but it's great for storage. So, yeah, I feel like that was a really good deal for me. Um, so, anyways, back to this. What I'm going to do is I think that needs a tiny, I love tiny buttons. Look at that. Look at how small. It's not easy to find small buttons. I like small ones and big ones like that. The in-between are just kind of, mm, but that, that's going to be perfect, I think, because it pulls that black out. So that's going to be sewn to that one. I'll do that. And then, let me see if i got a little bit of a different trim. I don't know. Let me see if I can just snip a little. There, I'm just going to, and then I think I might come back with just a tiny button. If I got here. There. So that's what I'm going to do for those two guys. I don't know why I chose to make those the special button ones, but I did. And then the rest of these, I'm actually very happy with those. Um, I don't know, this one probably, you know, maybe the ones, I wonder if I should put some buttons on these. I could have like uh, three on that and one there. And then these have all been, you know, the layered I think I'm actually fine with those staying, but I think these could benefit. Let me just see what we got. See, I've got all of these, but they aren't going to probably stand out enough. Because the he would almost need... I, th I feel like that one, if I go the button route, that one really needs three. <clears throat> This, I like that. That's a wood one. That's an old wood one. Oh, I'll have to save him. Just, just, I don't know. That's not really doing it, is it? And I got these, which I love the color, but I feel like these are just a little bit too big. Actually, I think that might work. It's going to add a lot of dimension, though, isn't it? Hmm. That's... I don't know, because that is going to be very bulky. I like that gray, but this needs a, a slightly larger... I think it needs, well, that looks funny, doesn't it? <clears throat> I don't know. It needs a pink now. There, I'm happy with that. So that's what I'm going to end up doing, guys. That one, I don't think so, because if, it's going to add too much bulk. Uh, let me see if I've got anything else here. Nothing that's going to match. That needs something, I feel. Maybe I'll make a little uh, paper flower. I think I'll do that. So that's, I'm going to call that done, guys, because I know this has gone on longer than I <laughs> expected it to. Um, okay, guys, so there we are. That is some faux tea, tea bag tags. And as you can see, you can still do some journaling. If you wanted, you could come back and back that with some uh, coffee or tea dyed paper. 
but I'm not going to um, to do that. I, I, I think it's fine the way it is. Thank you guys so much. Um, I appreciate all the wonderful comments that you've left. You've really, really encouraged me to persevere with this. So we've made it, guys. Thanks, and I'll be back soon. Have a great day. Bye.